Hello, Roger Bisbee here from the Skill Builder channel. I'm in my camper bus today doing something slightly different, and this is a Power Queen leisure battery. When I say leisure battery, it's not a battery for putting in your vehicle to start it. It's a, a deep cycle battery. You can run it down to almost flat and then it'll pick up again, which of course you can't do with the uh, lead acid batteries that you put into your, your vehicle. Don't confuse it with that. This is an auxiliary battery. You can use this for running your equipment. And in this case, we're gonna use it in the camper van for running our television, our fridge and lights and things like that when we're off grid, when we're staying out in the wilds for several days. And of course it will charge up with the solar panel. I've worked it out that this 200 amp hour battery will charge up on a good day with the solar panel in about six or seven hours. So that's pretty good because we're unlikely to run it flat. Quite honestly, it'll run the television for a week, I think, you know, without any trouble at all. In the pack, they give you these little bolts, these terminal bolts, which you simply screw into the top. Now, I've got some connectors here. I grabbed these from Halfords. Would recommend doing this. I mean, if you're charging it, if you're putting it on a charger, obviously you can just use alligator clips for this, but when you're linking it up, you want to make sure you do a good job of linking it up and use decent leads because if you don't and they start to cook then you'll find you've got trouble and of course the other thing don't forget you mustn't short the leads out so if you're doing anything where you're going to have to touch those leads together it's a good idea to wrap the ends in insulation tape until you've made that final connection so i can simply screw those into there it's a nice neat finish in the top and no clamps or anything like that. Don't forget, give them a tighten up. I mean, they don't have to be crazy, but they have to be firm because if they're not and you've got a loose connection there, you can find that it will overheat. And the one thing you don't want is to start a fire with a battery. There's a huge amount of power. This 200 amp hours is equivalent to the two lead acid leisure batteries that I'm using at the moment. And of course, each one of those weighs about the same as this. So we've got a, a weight saving, but we've also got a much more reliable battery. It will charge faster. It'll charge in, as I say, six hours on a solar panel, but it'll charge a lot faster than that of your rapid charger. And of course it will discharge more slowly. You get more capacity out of it. And like some batteries, when you take them past a certain point, then the charge isn't enough that's in there to service anything so you have to charge them up even though they're not empty but you can run this one right down if you want to link these up you can link these up in series or parallel depending on what you want to do if you want to keep the same 12 voltage or you want to double it up 24 48 and all the rest of it then you can link them up to do that but if you do it be careful to do it exactly as they tell you in these instructions here because they give you all the illustrations in the instructions to show you how to link it. And it's a good idea if you're linking several to put them on a copper buzz bar and um, link them like that. But it's very, very clear in the way that you do it. Now, when I bought this camper van, it was secondhand. It had done about 3000 miles and the previous person had put two leisure batteries in there. And I think it was done by the dealer, but they would put them in wrongly. They just linked them off the back. And that's not the way you do it. What you do is you put one positive on one and one negative on the other battery, and then you loop the two batteries together so that you're getting power through the two rather than just piggybacking on the back. So as I say, I'm not gonna go into it in great detail here, but it does show you in the illustrations exactly what you should do. Now, the question that some of you might be asking is, can you use this battery in addition to your lead acid batteries? Can you use them in the same circuit? Well, the answer to that is no. You've got to keep the same batteries. You've got to keep the same kind of capacity, the same make. And if you do that, you won't have any troubles. But if you start mixing batteries around, if you put this into the same circuit as your lead acid battery, you suddenly lose the control. And although this has got printed circuit boards inside it, this is absolutely managing the power, making sure that it doesn't overheat, and when it gets up to about 80% capacity on the, on the rapid charge, it goes into a lower trickle charge. But of course, if you start linking it up to other batteries that don't have that control, then this is gonna get very confused indeed. So stick to the one type of battery. As I say, this will replace the two leisure batteries in the van, so absolutely perfect, easy job to do. And I haven't got to piggyback it. All I've got to do is put these two connectors 
onto the existing connections and um, I'm ready to go. So you can either do it in a series or a parallel connection if you're going to be connecting several batteries. And the idea is that the batteries should meet these conditions. They should be identical batteries. In other words, they should be the same amp power and they should be the same make. So don't go mixing those up. And if you want to, you can double them 24, you can get up to 48 just by linking them in series. And it shows you how to connect them in series. You're simply going positive, negative, all the way through linking them up or if you want to do them in parallel all you do is you simply link up all your positives to your positives and your negatives to your negatives all the way through daisy chaining them and then in the end obviously you just got these last two connections here which uh, you connect up to whatever it is you're going to be connecting up to in this case we've got a 12 volt supply on the camper van so i'm only ever going to use this one i'm not going to bother because that's a huge amount of capacity for us so the state of the charge on the the battery is if it's got 10.8 volts in it it's one percent charged if it's 10 percent charged it goes up to 12.8 volts and incrementally it goes up from there it shows you on the instructions incrementally what it goes up to when you've got a hundred percent capacity you've got 13.5 volts in there so that'll tell you whether you've got a full capacity or not now, when you're charging, you should really charge at 14.2 volts. You don't charge at 12 volts, you charge at 14.2. But the controller will give you a nominal 12 volts. So this is a lithium ion battery, but it's got phosphate technology, which means that it works in a slightly different way to the cheaper lithium ion batteries. Right now, before using it, you should charge it up separately. That means off the vehicle, make sure it's fully charged, leave it on for several hours to get a full charge on it. And then when you've done that, you can connect it up for use, but don't connect it up for use and then whack the charger on it and expect that to do the job. So let's just have a look at what we're gonna get out of here. See how much charge we've got in this. So we've got 13.1 volts. So that means that according to our little chart, it's 40% charge. So it's got a way to go to get the full capacity. So if I look at what I got hooked up in here on the lead acid batteries, I'm getting 13.7 volts. So that's absolutely fully charged on the solar. So what I can do is I can hook up my new battery to the existing power supply here, pop that back on there. So now I've got this hooked up to the solar charger, I can actually leave this battery just charging purely on the solar charger. It'll take a day, but it will be fully charged by the time I'm finished. Now there you are, that's the Power Queen Leisure battery. And this is a 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour battery, but you can get 100 amp hour batteries if you don't want anything quite this big and obviously saves a bit of space and a bit of weight. But as I say, not a heavy battery, so I'm delighted with it. I think it's gonna solve a lot of problems for me and mean that I can stay out in the wilds for longer. In fact, forever. How about that? <laughs> if you're interested in buying a Power Queen battery, you can support Skill Builder by using our affiliate links in the description area. Don't forget to join the growing Skill Builder community and sign up for our newsletter. Make sure you stay up to date with all things Skill Builder.